Want to know what the heck is ETF? Then this is the video for you. If you are new here, our channel posts about money tips and self-development tips every week. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you won't miss out on our future videos. Hi, I'm Ying. And I'm Ivy. ETF is one of the most popular investments in America. But why do you want to invest in ETF? And so in this video, we will show you what is ETF and what are the advantages and disadvantages of ETF. So let's get started. So what is ETF? ETF, also known as Exchange Traded Funds, is a type of investments that consists of various stocks, which usually tracks an underlying index. So first and foremost, what is an index? Let us show you an example. For example, the KLCI index shows the performance of top 30 companies in Malaysia. This can include Maybank, TNB, Petronas, and so on. So the ETF KLCI follows the movements of this index. There are many kinds of ETF out there. Some may follow the trend of technology, gold, healthcare, and etc. What is the advantages of an ETF? Number one, the overall fees and charges are lower compared to mutual funds. And on top of that, the initial minimum investment is also cheaper. For example, mutual funds need a minimum investment of 1,000 ringgit. Whereas ETF, the minimum investment is 100 units times the market price. So if the ETF costs 1 ringgit and 80 cent per unit, buying 100 unit will only cost you 180 ringgit. Number two, diversification. Comparing with shares, ETF is still relatively lower risk. This is because when you're investing in shares, you're putting 100% of your risk to only one company. Whereas when you're buying one ETF, you're actually distributing your risk to many multiple companies. Number three, transparency. ETF is very transparent because when you invest in ETF, you'll be able to see the list of companies invested in that sector. Whereas comparatively with mutual funds, you won't be able to see the list of companies that the fund manager has chosen to invest in. If you have been watching the video so far and you still struggle at understanding how ETF works or what is ETF, then please comment your question down below. Disadvantages Number 1. Fees and charges even though ETF is cheaper than mutual funds, but it is still more costly compared to buying individual shares. This is because you still need to pay fees like management fees, trustee fees, or index fees, which will cost you around 0.2% a year. Number two, diversification. ETF may not be suitable for seasoned investors who prefers in a short term and a high risk, high return approach. Number three, the difficulty to buy and sell. So far, ETF is not so popular among Malaysian investors. This is because Malaysian investors think that it is very difficult to buy and sell due to the lack of trading volume. So should you really invest in ETF? We suggest that you may want to invest in a market that is outside of Malaysia like perhaps Hong Kong, Singapore or America because in Malaysia, ETF lacks popularity. And if you are still really new to ETF investments, we would recommend you to start in a small amount and do more research along the way. So, so that's it for today. If you like more investment tips, do check out our video right over here. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.